so you want to run the dungeon. I'll have you know this isn't your typical MMO dungeon or even typical BDO content. Luckily for you, I have a nice little guide here to help you get started. Welcome to Quick Guides. Before you even think about getting started in the dungeon, you're going to need to finish the invitation from I quest line and start the five person co op quest, the last stronghold, until it wants you to enter the dungeon. Don't worry, that's the only questing required of you from now on. With all that questing out of the way, you're probably thinking, now nah, I'm ready for the dungeon. With these dungeons, you're going to need a party of five that have hopefully all seen this video. And make sure your gear is at least 200 AP, 270 DP for season, 257 AP, 305 DP for normal, and 281 AP, 347 DP for Elvia. Your dungeon difficulty is determined by which server slash realm you're in. Now listen here, puny viewer. Having an actual party comp is going to be greatly beneficial to completing the dungeon without wanting to commit non-alive on yourself. This video is in the eyes of a main tank. Ideally, you want two tanks, two DPS, and one support. Now that you've got yourself a party and the right gear equipped, you're ready to begin the dungeon. Once inside, please let your main tanks and aggro pullers go ahead of you so the other party members don't spread the mobs out. The mobs will appear under the Minecraft spawners that are scattered above the area. I recommend only pulling one group of spawners at a time, especially if you're new. These early mobs have relatively simple mechanics such as only allowing back attacks for periods of time or needing to be pulled over steam vents. Continue grinding these mobs until everyone in your party has 5 gold thorns. You're going to process these into Vaha Dried Fangs. Take that Dried Fang back to the beginning and teleport to Vaha's head. You're track back towards the mob spawners and kill mobs until a large boss named Kraten spawns. You'll want to have one person with a matchlock to shoot his core when the message pops up and it begins to charge. These matchlocks also kill the smaller birds in the sky that occasionally stagger you. Combine the Dried Fang and Searing Heart together in your inventory to get a Burning Fang. Go back and have your party leader open the Rift Gate to let you pass through the second boss of the dungeon. Everyone step on the plates to spin the fins of the towers to the center, and waves of enemies will begin spawning. Stay together for these waves of mobs, they do hurt if enough of them stack on you. When the boss spawns, have two people to hold the boss in one spot while the other three stand near the towers that spawn. When the boss turns a certain color, he's preparing a large attack, and when successful, he gets a large damage buff as well as heals. Destroying the correct tower while he's charging will stop him and apply a heavy DPD buff. It's important that everyone comes to DPS the boss during this, and once he wakes back up, returns to the towers. Combine the Frozen Shell with the Burning Fang to get a Twisted Fang. Combine the Twisted Fang with a Whispering Bell to get a Dagger. Have your party leader open the gate to the final boss teleporter. Everyone in the party will need to insert their daggers to begin teleporting to the final boss area. Use the shop in the final area to buy potions, buffs, and medical kits. Please buy medical kits, you can use these to revive your teammates. The final boss of this dungeon has three phases. You will start separated from his mount and you will need to bring both bosses down to half HP at the same time in order to trigger the next phase. One party member will be required to focus on the extra mob. If the extra mobs reach the bosses, they will heal. Sacrifice the mobs to the orbs of from the towers to get large AP buffs. Once you get them both low enough, they will combine and play a cutscene. DPS the boss until you ask if you would like to play a game. Colored orbs with matching shapes will spawn around the room. You must bring three orbs to each of the matching towers around the room. Have everyone move around the room the same way, not crossing paths. Warning, do not use skills and do not hit the boss during this phase. After the colors are put in the correct towers, the boss will freeze, allowing you to do massive damage. Get the boss to 25% HP to begin the final phase. This last phase of the boss, he will stomp around chasing you. He has large attacks and leaves a massive permanent AoE in the spot that he stomps in. So manage your space properly. You can prevent him from doing this if you hit the boss with enough stuns after the red message appears. Check your skill tree for which ability is stun. After the boss is killed, he will drop a key that you can turn into the altar after the boss fight for your reward. Congrats, you now know how to complete the first dungeon of Black Desert Online.